Most people do not concretely understand how these skills are related. I'm going to show you right now on video. As said before, the most important thing about a Healy or a Higgins is first to learn a pirouette. I have gymnasts do it on the floor first. And this girl that's doing pirouettes on the floor, she's very good at making sure she hits the right positions. And what I'm looking for is an early pirouette with two hand placements, as you can see. The next step is to take it to a, either a springboard or a uh, mini trampoline and actually jump up to a handstand and do the pirouette. Because you're later, you're going to have to do the skill on the bars. So the one-two hand placement was practiced on the floor, and now you take it to the bars. And you may need to spot a few gymnasts on this at first when they're first trying to do this skill. The, the goal is to do an early pirouette and finish in a handstand. If you're finishing flat, that's not going to help you very much. And I made sure that I got people that can do it very well and somebody that's harder to spot that's going to need little assistance. As you can see, I have a gymnast here that's as tall as me. He wants to try and get in on the act here. Again, young lady, you can see here that she does a pirouette. And the good thing is she almost fell back the direction she came from. So that's the next part of the drill with the pirouettes, to do a pirouette and do it so early that you fall back in the direction that you came from. This helps you to practice good pirouetting technique. And even our six foot two guy, he's having no problem performing it. Okay, this takes a lot of practice and the more the gymnast does it, the better they're gonna get at it. Requires you to go up, do an early pirouette. If you have your head way out, it's much harder to perform. The idea is to be looking down your arm as you're doing the early pirouette. Okay, now this is the next step. This is what a Higgins is. You go up and you come back down the direction you came from, finishing in what's called a mixed grip. So one hand's going to finish in eagle grip or L grip. The other hand's going to finish in reverse grip. But they're starting with both hands in regular grip, like you regularly grab the bar. 